Mexico. Why do we live? Obviously we live life to have fun, to enjoy, to take pleasure from everything that Hashem created for us. But really, what, what are we looking for in life? It's really to fulfill our purpose. Now, how can you find your purpose in life? How does that work? Hence, this week's Parsha, Vayisara. Now the first pasuk of this, first sentence of this week's Parsha is Vayiyu Chayisara, Mea Shana, Ve'esrim Shana, Ve'sheva Shanim, Shnei Chayisara. Okay, so from this pasuk, we see the word Vayiyu. Now, Vayiyu is just a regular word, but the Balaturim says, if you look at Vayiyu, the Gamashi of Vayiyu, you get the number 37. Now, why is the number 37 relevant to us? Because the Pasuk that I just read tells you the age of Sarah Imein. Sarah, uh, our, our, one of, one of the, uh, Avram's wife, um, the mother of the Jewish people. So what can we get from number 37? Well, Sarah lived 127 years, or as the Pasuk ex says exactly, 100 years and 20 years and seven years. But what, what significance does 37 have? We learn that when she was 90 years old, she gave birth to Yitzchak. So for the last 37 years of her life, the Bala term teach that this is, this is the time in her life where she really fulfilled her purpose, raising Yitzchak. Now what's up with the rest of the Pasuk? Like it says, it says 100 years, 20 years, 7 years. So how, what can we learn from this? We learn from this that Sarah in her childhood, 7 years, when she was 7 years old, she was beautiful inside and outside, but she really she she gained a lot of values that were important that were important for her to take throughout her entire life. And when she was 20, she had she was completely innocent, which is what also she took with her throughout her later adult life. And then when finally, 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 throughout the rest of her life, throughout the last 100 years of her life, she was able to take it all together and finally fulfill her purpose. Now, how can we do exactly as Sarah did and fulfill our purposes in life? Well, you have to surround yourself with a good group. You have to surround yourself with a good group, and just like Sarah was, you have to, you have to take in all of the good, good, um, all the good attributes, and really, really apply them to your daily life. As well as you follow, you follow Torah and mitzvot, and you you live a you give you live a good Jewish life. Now. How, again, how can we find our purpose in life? Well, we're very lucky because we live in Westport. Um, the, the abundance of classes and opportunities we have to surround ourselves with a good group is phenomenal in that we have the time, we have the right, correct resources to really find our purpose in life. As I'm standing here right now, behind me at the Kotel, we have a swearing-in ceremony of a bunch of uh, Israeli soldiers later today. And that's the purpose of their life. That's what they found, is they live here. They found their purpose pretty quickly. Um, I wish us, I bless us all that we find our purposes quickly and are able to live long lives just like Sarah was able to. And Shabbat Shalom.